Middle school math hacks, decimal operations. First, when adding decimals, okay, we always line up our decimal places. So we're gonna write it as 18.4 plus 3.97. So our decimals are in a row, and then in our answer, we'll bring the decimal down, fill in any extra zeros, and then add. So seven plus zero is seven, four plus nine is 11, 1 plus 8 plus 3 is 12, 1 plus 1 is 2, so we get 22.17. Subtracting decimals follows the same rules as adding, so we're going to line up our decimal place. So our first number goes on top, minus our second number, and we have to fill in our zeros and bring our decimal straight down. Okay, now subtracting, we're going to have to go and borrow. So that goes to be 10, becomes 9, and so we have 10 minus 4 is 6, 9 minus 6 is 3. We're going to have to borrow again, so we have 15 minus 8 is 7, have to borrow again. 13 minus 4 is 9, 2 minus 0 is 2, so we have 29.736. Now multiplying decimals, okay, we want to multiply the numbers like the decimal's not there, and then we're going to have to go back and put our decimal back in the answer the number of times it is in the problem. So here we have one, two, three numbers after the decimal. So our answer should have three numbers after the decimal. So when I set this up, I'm going to put the number with the most digits on top. I don't have to line them up. I can just start multiplying. Two times five is ten. So I carry the one. Two times three is six. Plus one is seven. Two times two is four. I'm done with the two, so I put a zero, and then I can start multiplying. Five times five is 25. Five times three is 15, plus two is 17. Five times two is 10, plus one's 11. We can add it all together. And then remember, we needed to move our decimal three times, so one, two, three. We place our decimal and we have 12.22. With dividing decimals, okay, we put the first number inside, divided by the second number outside. Okay, and we look at the number on the outside. We have to make this a whole number, so I have to move the decimal once to the right. So on the inside, I need to move it once to the right and straight up. And then we can start dividing. So 32 doesn't go into 1, doesn't go into 13, goes into 37 four times. 4 times 32 is 128. So we have to subtract. Bring down our 6. 32 goes into 96 three times. 3 times 32 is 96. There's nothing left, so our answer is 4.3. And that's reviewing your decimal operations. Have a good day.